In the starting of first chapter, our main character wakes up from the garbage. He says, my name is Lin, who just woke up from the garbage. The hairstyle might be messed up, but not the head. Other crossover people are invincible at the beginning of the game, second to none. And I'm mediocre. No talent. Just a waste to be killed and throw into the trash. I was handsome for most of my life, but unexpectedly crossed in such a shameful way. Suddenly Lin notices someone. The man was taking a piss. But he was not an ordinary human, he was a monster. He tries to kill Lin. But suddenly a scissor appears and kills that monster. The scissor goes back to its owner. Then we can see a beautiful lady appears there. Lin thanks her for saving his life. Lady approaches towards Lin and says, Am I pretty? Little brother. Lin replies with yes. Suddenly he transformed herself into a monster and then asks Lin, Am I still beautiful? Lin gets scared. Lady approaches towards him and says, Little brother, answer me quickly. Lin figured out that if he answered the question, she will kill him. But then Lady says, Since you don't say anything, I'll have to speak up for you. With that he tries to cut Lin's mouth but suddenly a system showed up and time stops. Lin recognized that the time has stopped. He says time has stopped and I can't move my body. Suddenly the system appears and gave Lin three options. Lin says, is this legendary plug-in system? System showed him three options as escape the place. Kneel down and beg for mercy. And last is to kiss her. With that Lin holds the lady and kisses her. Lady feels embarrassed. She moves away from Lin and says, My name is Hong Yi. I will definitely come back. With that she disappears. The system showed up again because Lin has completed the task. System says, Please shout out the lottery chance as smash the darkness with thunder. Lin does the exactly same and a light appears in the sky. Everyone from the city was surprised watching it. One lady was watching that from the distance she says, There is actually someone who has awakened S rank or higher level of special ability. As far as I know, only that man in Kanglin City has surpassed the S-Class. Who is it this time? Suddenly she remembers something and says, could it be the descendant of that guy? In the next scene, we can see that Lin has acquired the S-Class powers. Lin says, according to this body's memories, the current world's public power limit is S-Class and I also has awakened a class. In that case, I'm going to be invincible. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter, as we know, Lin has got S-rank powers. But still his strength was still low, that's why he chooses to escape from that monster that appeared there. Lin ran wildly for half an hour and finally found the way home. As soon as he enters the room, he saw his little sister. Lin says, I almost forgot, I have a good sister named Lin Chi. Lin Chi asks Lin brother, what's wrong with you? You look like you have bruises on your body. Lin replies, rainy day, slippery road, accidentally fell. Lin Chi says I've made ginger soup, drink it. Lin changes his clothes and sits down to enjoy his soup. Then he says as far as I can remember I was adopted by the Lin family since I was a child. After my adoption parents died. I lived with my sisters Lin Hua and Lin Chi. Both sisters were talented and gifted. I was the only one who was the loser. Three years ago my sister was selected to join the special division because of her excellent qualification. Because of her busy schedule she rarely comes home. So I take care of my sister. However, the original owner of this body was too indomitable and could not even care of myself and I was indifferent to my sister. Lin says, such a good sister, the original owner actually does not know how to cherish. But suddenly someone comes in and shouts at Lin by saying, get out of here. Lin gets scared. Then we can see Chu Junyao appears there, she was the childhood friend of Lin. Junyao says, how do you come back? This morning you confessed your love to me in front of the whole class with a megaphone. You've disgraced me. You must give me an answer tonight. But Lin doesn't give any satisfactory answer, so Junyu gets angry and tries to kick Lin, but apparently that doesn't go as planned. Junyu gets angry, but Lin Chi stops them both. Junyu says, I don't talk to children. Lin, don't forget that tomorrow is the day of the school's special ability test. There are awakened C level of higher psychic powers to be eligible to enter the Kanglin Academy. And I have already awakened a class powers. I was sent to the academy in advance and have a bright future. As for you in this life, it is impossible for you to catch up with my footsteps. It is better to get a third-rate university and become an ordinary person at the bottom of the society. Suddenly a system task appears. It gave Lin three options as stay quiet. Apologizes to Jun Yao. Or speak back to her. Lin shows us the third option and does exactly the same. Lin says to Jun Yao I will get into Kanglin Academy. Ju Yu says anyone can brag, but strength is the real deal. I'm done talking so take care of yourself. With that she leaves the place. 
After some time Lin was sleeping on his bed and we can see Hong Yi was beside him. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter as we can see Lin gets ready and went to school. He has his psychic ability test. He arrives at the school where everyone was waiting for the test to start. Lin reaches there and asks one boy, is this the evaluation venue? Boy gets irritated because of Lin but the second he saw him he gets pretty surprised. Boy recognized Lin. He says, what are you doing here? Lin also recognized him and says, he is Yang Yi. The two of us are enemies. It is very likely that he sent someone to kill me before. Totally, I can't let him go. Suddenly, the examiner announces that the first test is going to start. He says in order to enter Kanglin Academy, you must awaken as C or above class. He calls out the first student. But the first student fails the exam terribly. The next student was Yang Yi. He gives his test and his class turns out to be in a class. Everyone was pretty surprised looking at it. After that, the next student was Lin himself. He walks towards the machine but his pants were unzipped. Everyone starts to laugh at him. Then the examiner told him that his pants are unzipped. Lin feels embarrassed. After that Lin gives his test but his abilities turns out to be of FFF class. He fails the test terribly. But suddenly Hong Yi appears there to help Lin. Hong Yi grants him the powers and the result of the test changes from the FFF class to potential of S class. Everyone was surprised by it even the examiner. While waiting for the second test Yang Yi says to Lin, a waste is always a waste. Lin replies, what are you talking about you're just jealous of my potential. Yang Yi gets angry listening to it. But suddenly the system appears and gave Lin three options as put on a class expression or fight with Yang Yi to fulfill his wish or encounter Yang Yi. Lin shows us the second option and knocks him out. But suddenly a lady from the Kanglin Academy stops them both by saying, the second level of the practical test is about to begin, students who have passed the awakening ability, follow me, prepare to proceed to the actual battlefield. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter, as we can see the past students have to give the second test, that's why they start their journey towards test site. While on the way, lady from the Kanglin Academy introduces herself to everyone. She says, my name is Su Tang. I'm a first-class student of Kanglin Academy. The second test is important. The students who will pass it can directly enter the Kanglin Academy. So all of you should do your best. But Lin wasn't paying attention on the important thing. But suddenly a group of bats attacks on their bus and bus gets flipped over. Lin gets out of the bus and says, where do these strange bata come from? Su Tang also gets out of the bus and gives an order to kill the bats. As they were fighting, suddenly some chains appears from the ground and ties them all. Then we can see a man on the bike. He stops and approaches towards a girl with saying, Hi girl, let's play a game of tongue. Suddenly girl's boyfriend replies, Don't touch my girl. While he was talking, Su Tang tries to attack on that man, but he recognizes it and knocks out Su Tang. Lin helps Su Tang and says, Heroes always come out when things get serious. That's right, I'm the hero. Also the system appears with three options as take Su Tang with you and escape the place. Kneel down and beg to the Ling Che demon to let everyone go or kill the Ling Che demon and save everyone. Lin shows us the third option to kill the demon. He tries to knock out the demon but gets beaten up. Suddenly Hong Yi appears there and gives him powers. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of fifth chapter, as we can know Hong Yi helps Lin. Lin gets ready to fight with the demon. Demon tries to kill Lin with his chains but Lin grabs them and pulls demon towards him and throws him off. Everyone was quite surprised by it. Demon also gets pretty impressed he sits on his bike and tries to attack on Lin. But Si Tang helps him. Lin distracts the demon by sitting behind him and in between that Su Tang knocks out Demon. Demon was defeated he tries to blow himself. That's why Lin and Su Tang has to leave the place quickly. Su Tang was injured so Lin says your chest is hurt why don't I hold it for you. Everyone starts to cheer for Lin but Yang Yi gets jealous. And also Lin completed his task. Suddenly a robot appears in the sky and then we get to know that everything that happened was a test. Su Tang gets angry and says, Bastard, why don't you tell me beforehand, at least I'm the examiner. Robot replies, things will be explained to you later. Robot also says, we announced that the best candidate of this test is Mr. Lin. Listening to it, everyone starts to cheer. After that, Lin come back home and tells everything that has happened so far to his little sister. He also calls his another sister who works for the Kanglin Academy. After that he lay down on his bed but suddenly Hong Yi appears there. Hong Yi says, Lin I need you. I can teach you how to improve your strength but you must promise me one condition. Lin asks what is the condition? Hong Yi replies, marriage in the underworld. And that's how the chapter ends.
In the starting of next chapter Lin Shi wakes up Lin. Lin wakes up and says today is the day to go to Kanglin College and separate from Lin Shi. With that Lin gets ready and arrives at the bus station. Lin Shi was pretty sad. Lin says don't worry I will come back to see you. With that he starts his journey. In the next scene we can see Lin arrives at the Kanglin College. He says Kanglin College is really luxurious. The most important thing is beautiful women. An endless supply of beautiful women. Lin says, but the beauty can be seen later. My first priority is to report for admission. Who will the mentor be? Suddenly one man asks him, Lin? Are you Lin? Lin replies, yes, I'm Lin. What can I do for you? Listening to it, everyone rushes towards him. Everyone starts to convince Lin to become their student, even though they start to fight for him. One lady says to Lin, I'm the instructor Jang Lin. Why don't you come to my class? Jang Lin says, don't listen to them. It's a bunch of old crooks. As long as you worship me as a teacher, I will let you sleep in the best dormitory and later will give you special benefits. Lin accepts her offer and becomes her student. After that he went to separate dormitory. Lin was happy imagining the things that he thought it will happen there. But suddenly one lady calls him and says, You are Lin, right? My name is Xiang Qian. I'm also a student in Jiang Lin's class, so I'm your senior. I will be responsible for tutoring you. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter, we can see Lin was talking to Xiang Qian. He introduced himself. Xiang asks Lin, did Jiang Lin also promised you special benefits in the future? Lin says yes. Is there something wrong? Xiang says Jiang Lin has fooled you. He says Jiang Lin's nickname is the witch. Special benefits she promised you are really scary as hell. There's a good chance you won't be able to take it. Lin gets pretty scared. But he says, don't worry, sir. I don't have a problem. With that, they end their conversation. In the next scene, we can see Yang Yi is talking with his grandfather who is a senior elder of the Kanglin Academy. Yang Tu is complaining about Lin and asks for help to kill him. And his grandfather agreed. In the next scene, we can see Lin was relaxing in a bathtub. Suddenly Hong Yi appears there. Lin says, what the hell? Why are you always sneaking around? Are you living in my body? Hong Yi replies, yes. In fact, I've been living in your spiritual world. She says spiritual world is a space evolved by the soul which contains a combat aura called spiritual power. Lin says, so you signed a marriage contract with me and lived in my spiritual world. Hong Yi replies, yes, because my spiritual world has been broken. Lin says, in that case, let's go to the bridal shower. I'll channel my spiritual power to you. But suddenly someone knocks at the door. Lin opens the door, but no one was there. But suddenly a weasel enter in their room and tries to kill Lin. But Hong Yi helps Lin. After that, they tied up the weasel with the rope. Lin asks him, why did you attack me? Did someone sent you here? Then Weasel told him the truth that Yang Yi and his grandfather sent me to kill him. Also, the system appears with options. Lin was getting generous reward if he let go the Weasel. So Lin untied Weasel and let him go and completed his task. But the moment he completed his task, he catched the Weasel again and tied him up. Lin ties him up with a belt as a watchdog. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter, Lin wakes up from the sleep. He looks towards Hong Yi and tries to touch her. But Hong Yi also wakes up. Hong Yi looks towards Lin and says, You look like you've gotten stronger and more handsome. Lin replies, That's true, looks like the cleansing pills are working, I feel so full of power. Hong Yi says, The energy of the marrow cleansing pills you ate is extremely high and with your current physical condition you're not able to fully absorb it. You need to strengthen your muscles and body in order to fully absorb it. I was able to help you unblock the power of the potion so that you wouldn't be in much pain. Hong Yi says a quick way to sharpen the muscles and the bones is actually to keep using external force to hit the body. The short title is beaten. It means Lin has to get beaten up to build external force. After that Lin went to his college. He met his teacher Jiang Lin. Jiang Lin introduces her other classmates to Lin. She introduced Murong and Ho Feng to Lin. Su Tang was also from the same class. Jiang Lin says to Lin, I investigated your information. I did not expect your father is Lin Yuan. You're actually the son of my idol. Everyone was surprised listening to it. Ho Feng says Lin Yuan was once the strongest psychic in Kanglin City. In the next scene, we can see everyone was gathered. Vice President of Kanglin College Shen Yang welcomes everyone. He announces some outstanding freshmen to come up the stage to receive their Kanglin Order Award. It was an award given by the college to best new students. Xu Junyu and Yang Yi received this award. The next student was Lin himself. And suddenly the system appears with three options as speak normally or speak arrogantly or give a positive energy speech. 
Lin chose the third option because the reward for it was five points to charisma. He went on the stage and says, I'm glad to get this award, but I think I don't deserve this. I'm just a useless stinky brother with low and useless powers. But even then Academy gave me this title. And I have to wonder at the greatness of the Academy. Everyone starts to clap for him and with that he completed his task. But as soon as he completed his task and got the reward he says it's all fake. With all due respect everyone here is trash. Everyone was pretty surprised. He talks so much shit about everyone. Everyone was angry on him but his classmates came to help him. But instead Lin disrespected his classmate. As a result he gets beaten by everyone. And that's how the chapter ends. The next day Lin still wants to get beaten up to build external force. But no one was interested in beating him. Lin was sitting hopeless but one boy says to him, if you are really brave, you can confess to one of the four school beauties M.O. Chinching. Lin says, are you kidding me, I'm super brave. But Hong Yi was not happy. Lin takes out his phone and sends a message on campus chat group as from today onwards, Chi Cheng will be my wife. If you have any problem, meet me and hit me. I will always love her with my heart. No one was happy seeing that message. That's why everyone was approaching towards Lin to beat him. Lin gets scared. Chi Ching also saw that message and she gets impressed by Lin's bravery. In the next scene, we can see Lin injured. But suddenly Jiang Lin interfere and saves Lin. After the Jiang Lin informs him about spiritual spring. She says if you really want to harden your body. When the world's spiritual energy recovered, countless treasures appeared on the earth. Spiritual spring is one of them. You can understand that there are spiritual hot springs. It can help you improve your strength. You better improve your strength in next two days. The spiritual spring is open for a limited time. It's not easy for me to get the opportunity for you. So thank me sincerely. After some time we can see both of them went on the hill which is behind the college. Where Jiang Lin starts Lin's test. Lin trained all the day. At the end of the day Jiang Lin told Lin about his father. As she was a member of his father's hunter group. She told him that Lin's father sacrificed his life to save others lives. Listening to it Lin gets motivated and says I will save this world. In the next scene, we can see Yang Yi's grandfather is giving him order to a second-year elite student, Muhi. He offered him 1,000 spirit stones. The order was to kill Lin. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter, we can see Lin gets out of his room to go to college. Suddenly, he saw the weasel that he tied up. Weasel was not eating anything. Lin offers him a chicken leg. Weasel was hungry, so he eats it. Weasel also warns Lin about Yang Yi's grandfather. He says, since I didn't go back. He will definitely won't leave it. He'll surely send more people to assassinate you. In the next scene, we can see everyone from the college gathered at the spiritual spring. Jiang Lin says everyone has 500 spiritual stones stored in their Kanglin order. This is something that the college gave you for free to stimulate the spirit spring. So keep it safe. After entering the spiritual spring, throw the spiritual stone into the spring to draw out the spiritual energy inside. After that, the gate opens. Jiang Lin says to Lin, little cutie come back early, I'm waiting for you. Lin was finding a high quality spiritual spring. He saw a gate. He says this door is big and tight that it might be hiding a rare spiritual spring. That's why he opens the door. But Qin Cheng was in the spring with his friend. Lin was stunned looking at them. Qi Ching says, aren't you that Lin? Who confessed to me? Suddenly the system appears with three options as leave the cave after watching or jump into the spring and have a pool party or apologize to both. Lin was getting six psychic fragments as a reward for second option, so he chose that. And jumps into the spring but gets kicked out of the room by Chi Ching. But he completed his task. Muhi who was assigned to kill Lin sees that and gets very angry on Lin. In the next scene we can see Lin found one spiritual spring and starts to take his bath. Hong Yi also appears because she was jealous that Lin saw those girls in that situation so she bites him. Suddenly the Mu He who was angry on Lin appears there by breaking the wall. He tries to attack on Lin but ends up damaging the spiritual spring. Spiritual pond was empty so they both falls into it. Hong Yu tries to help Lin. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter as we know Lin and the other boy falls into the pond. But there was more water under it. And under the water there was actual land. Hong Yi helps Lin from falling, but Muhi was not able to anything so he collapsed on the ground. Lin looks towards the place and says maybe there is a hidden treasure here. They approaches towards the boy but he was already dead. So Lin takes out his spirit stones. As they were standing a ball came towards them. Lin grabs it and says where did the ball roll from? Suddenly two baby monsters appears there. 
and also the system with three options is get along with the kids in kind manner or find a way to kill the kids or provoke the ghosts and make them enemy. Lin decides to go for first choice as it has the reward as three points of strength. So he kicks the ball which hits the baby monster. Basically Lin wants choose first option but instead his actions completed the task as third option. So he gets eight power points and he also make everyone his enemy. But Lin says, it doesn't matter, I completed so many tasks, that's why my strength has increased, I can beat all these monsters. All the monsters attacks on Lin and starts to beat him. But suddenly Lin's S-Class Flesh awakens. He says S-Class Flesh awakened, it feels so strong. After that both Lin and Hong Yi defeats all the monsters. But suddenly a B rank or higher rank monster approaches towards them, that's why Hong Yi helps Lin to escape the place. Monster also tries to escape the pond, but Jang Lin and his classmates gets ready to fight with the monster. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter, we can see Lin saw the message that he got from his college. Due to the incident that happened, the spirit spring was temporarily closed. The academy decided to issue compensation by giving a soul jade to the students who participated in the spirit spring experience and instructor Jang told to collect it as soon as possible. Lin asks Hong Yi what is soul jade? Hong Yi replies, the soul jade is the energy core in the body of ghosts and monsters responsible for storing aura. The texture is similar to jade, hence the name soul jade. When a ghost or monster dies, IT will drop different soul jades depending on its own cultivation level. After absorbing the soul jade, the psychic can gain access to the aura stored inside and sometimes gain some special abilities. In the next scene, we can see Yang Yi and his grandfather are talking. Yang Yi was frustrated because their plan failed but his grandfather says there will be an opportunity later wait for it. In the next scene, we can see everyone was gathered to collect soul jade. A old man called Elder Song was guiding them. They entered a room full of boxes. Old man says let's see how everyone opens a box and receives the corresponding soul jade. Everyone was opening the box with different ways. Lin looks towards the box and system appears with three options as open the box in a normal way or open the box with method of destruction or ask for help to open it. Lin choose the second option and destroys a box. Everyone was surprised. He received his eight power by completing the task. Lin doesn't get anything special so he starts to destroy other boxes but old man stops him. Old man saw something special in Lin that's why he invited him to a special room. The room was full of rare soul jades. Old man says you have great strength. I'll make an exception and let you choose a soul jade for you. Lin looks towards the red soul jade. He takes it in his hand and starts to absorb its power. Old man was surprised looking at it. After absorbing the stone's power, Lin unlocked some new powers. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter, as we know Lin has absorbed the powers of Soul Jade. Old man was pretty surprised by Lin. Suddenly Fatty comes in and says that the fan group of Chi Chung was waiting for Lin. They wanted to beat Lin for the message he sent on the group about Chi Cheng. Lin reaches the location where everyone was waiting for him. He goes there and teases them more. One boy gets angry and tries to punch Lin, but Lin stops him and gets back. Suddenly another boy uses his psychic ability and summoned artillery to kill Lin. Lin uses his new psychic ability and stops the cannonball by destroying it. Everyone was surprised. The boys who came to beat Lin gets beaten up by Lin. Lin gives them warning by saying, do not make licking dogs in the future or lick to the end, you will only have nothing. With that he leaves the place with Fatty. Old man was watching all of it. He says Lin will become a great talent in the future. In the next scene, we can see Lin Shi came to visit Lin. She enters the property, but Weasel tries to scare him. But the doll he had in his hand has a psychic powers. Weasel gets scared and allows her to enter. Later, Lin returns to his place, but he saw the door open. Hong Yi also appears there and says, Be careful. I feel a strong murderous aura. With that, he enters the room. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter, as we know Lin Shi was hiding with the weasel to surprise Lin. As soon as Lin notices her, she hugged him. Weasel was pretty surprised. He says, what? This demon girl is Lin's sister. After that, Lin Shi shows Lin the certificate of accompaniment. Which means Lin Shi can live with Lin in the dormitory. She says, I asked our sister for help to get this document and she did it. Lin was confused. Lin Shi says, tell me. Brother, did you get some beautiful girl? Who did you bring back to have sex with? Do they still help you with the housework? Lin replies, not at all. Focused on cultivation. I don't have time to mess with women. I'm pure brother. 
Lin Chi says, this is better, brother you must not get involved with girls, other girls are scary, unlike me, they will only make you sad brother. After that Lin Chi makes the lunch for Lin. Lin looks towards it and says, is it edible? Lin Chi replies, of course it is. Little yellow puppy just ate happily, there is no leftover. Lin tastes it and finds it tasty. But seeing that Weasel was traumatized. After that Lin truly wanted to find a way to earn money. Because now his little sister also joined them. Now Lin has Hong Yi, Weasel, and his little sister. Suddenly Lin saw Fatty was going somewhere. Fatty was going for work. Fatty was the member of Shogun Blade team. These types of groups has to perform given tasks to earn big amount of money. Lin convinced him to go with him for the work. With that they reached to Mercenary Hall. After that Fatty introduces Lin with his Mercenary Squad boss. Boss replies, Hello Lin, my name is Chu Ti, I'm the captain of Shogun Blade team. In the beginning of the next chapter, Fatty introduces Lin to their team captain, Chu Ti. Chu Ti is described as a robust and formidable individual. He decides to test Lin's psychic abilities and asks him to take a test. Despite starting from a low rank of FFF, Lin agrees and takes the test, achieving a C plus rank which brings him joy and a sense of progress. Chu Ti proceeds to introduce Lin to the other members of the group, but trouble brews when the vice captain, Mo Xiao, takes issue with Lin's attitude. This tension stems from Lin's previous confession of love to Mo Xiao's sister, Mo Qiqing. Angered by Lin's audacity, Mo Xiao challenges him to a fight. In a critical moment, the system intervenes, presenting Lin with three options beg for mercy, fight back, or try to convince Mo Xiao. Lin opts for the first choice, as it promises a reward of five points of agility. Surprisingly, Mo Xiao accepts Lin's plea for mercy, allowing him to complete the task and earn the reward. However, in a shocking turn of events, after completing the task, Lin unexpectedly punches Mo Xiao, leaving everyone astonished. This act sets the stage for further tension within the group. The story takes a dramatic turn as they embark on a mission to a haunted villa. Despite warnings from Hong Yi about the presence of high-class ability ghosts, Lin finds himself surrounded by them, bringing the chapter to a chilling conclusion. In the beginning of the next chapter, Lin finds himself surrounded by a group of enchanting female ghosts. They present him with a choice, urging him to pick one of them. Simultaneously, the system intervenes, offering Lin three options, choose the left one, choose the right one, or choose both. Lin boldly selects both options, completing the task and earning himself 10 agility points. However, his success is overshadowed by Hong Ye's jealousy who observes Lin's accomplishment with envy. Despite Lin's attempt to reassure him, tensions escalate when Lin unexpectedly attacks the ghosts, provoking their anger. The situation worsens as more ghosts are summoned, prompting Lin and Hong Ye to flee, leaving their team members anxiously awaiting their return. To their astonishment, Lin returns accompanied by a horde of ghosts, instilling fear and surprise among the group. Amidst the chaos, one of the female ghosts attacks, tearing everyone's clothes apart. In a surprising turn of events, Hong Yu takes control of Lin's body to assist Coco and clothe her, leaving Lin bewildered by this revelation of Hong Ye's abilities. After a fierce battle lasting half an hour, Lin and his team manage to capture the ghosts. Grateful for Lin's help, Coco expresses her gratitude with a kiss on his cheek. The captain announces a substantial reward of 30,000 for everyone involved in the raid, bringing joy to Lin's heart. As they gather outside the villa to discuss their next steps, Lin is shocked to spot his second sister in a car nearby, thus, the chapter concludes. In the beginning of the next chapter, the team captain's surprise is palpable upon discovering that Lin's sister is a member of the night patrol division. Despite Lin's desire to join the division, his sister advises him to practice more, recognizing his current weaknesses. Nonetheless, she gifts Lin, bringing him joy. With their mission completed, Lin and his team depart from the villa. Upon returning home, Lin is amused by his little sister Lin Chi's antics with a dressed-up weasel, though the creature seems less than pleased. Lin shares his encounter with their sister and proudly displays the gift she bestowed upon him, a soul jade. Intrigued, Lin absorbs the power of the soul jade, surprising Lin Chi, who notes that only the strong can directly absorb its power. The following day, Lin seeks permission from his teacher, Jiang Lin, to join the Autumn Trial, which is granted along with additional training and special benefits, much to Lin's delight. However, Lin's joy is short-lived as Mo Qiqing and her friend confront him about an incident involving Lin accidentally seeing them naked in the spiritual spring. Angered, Mo Qingqing's friend attempts to attack Lin, but fails. Lin, unfazed, teases them about their failed attempt. 
The situation escalates until Su Tang intervenes, revealing the underlying rivalry between Emo Qingqing's friend and Su Tang. Fatty further clarifies the enmity between them, leading Lin to cheer in amusement. With tensions simmering and alliances shifting, the chapter concludes. At the outset of the next chapter, tensions escalate as Emo Qingqing's friend and Su Tang engage in a heated argument. Suddenly, a ghost spirit emerges from the underworld, prompting Hong Yi to warn Lin about its formidable powers. The ghost targets Emo Qingqing for her enticing family bloodline, but her friend intervenes to protect her. However, Lin's curiosity leads him to disrupt the situation by asking about the underworld, much to everyone's disappointment. Su Tang patiently explains that the underworld is a realm inhabited by ghosts and monsters, enlightening Lin on the concept. As the ghost launches an attack, Lin takes decisive action by contacting the psychic department for assistance while also recording the chaos on his smartphone. Infuriated by Lin's actions, the ghost becomes hostile. In a critical moment, the system offers Lin three options, flee and abandon the crowd, defect to the ghost team and betray Kanglin College, or aid in the fight against the ghost. Lin opts for the second option, enticed by the reward of a cure for illness. To everyone's dismay, Lin attempts to persuade the ghost to join its ranks, completing the task but frustrating his companions once more. Despite the ghost's initial agreement, Lin surprises everyone by attacking it immediately after completing the task, further escalating the conflict. Just as tensions reach a boiling point, Jiang Lin arrives with his team to lend assistance, bringing hope to the beleaguered group. With the chapter concluding on this cliffhanger, at the beginning of the next chapter, Jiang Lin arrives to aid the group, swiftly defeating the attacking ghost with her psychic power, Vermilion Loth. Despite their victory, tensions rise as Lin and Jiang Lin resort to torturing the captured ghost to extract information about its sender, leaving their companions dismayed by their actions. However, the situation takes a terrifying turn when a female devil appears and ruthlessly kills the captured ghost. Fear grips everyone as the devil singles out Lin and transports him to a hilltop. There, she attempts to coerce Lin into consuming devil's blood. Presented with three options by the system, Lin opts to refuse initially, earning himself 15 points of strength. Yet, swayed by the devil's persuasive manner, Lin ultimately succumbs and agrees to ingest the blood. As a reward for his compliance, the devil offers Lin a gift before departing. Just as the encounter concludes, Jiang Lin intervenes to assist Lin, but the devil vanishes before they can act. Returning home, Lin presents gifts to his little sister before retiring to his room feeling unwell. Concerned for Lin's health, Hong Yi appears and proposes a drastic solution, fusing their blood to save Lin's life. Despite Lin's critical condition, he agrees to the risky procedure, setting the stage for a dramatic turn of events in the chapter's conclusion. In the next chapter of the manga, Lin awakens feeling healthy despite being afflicted by the blood of the devil. Meanwhile, Hong Yi, exhausted from aiding Lin's recovery, rests. Lin emerges from his room to find breakfast prepared by Lin Shi, who questions him about strange noises from the previous night, hinting at a hidden woman in his room. Embarrassed, Lin heads to college, where Fatty also inquires about the mysterious sounds. As Lin settles into class, Jiang Lin arrives, announcing the upcoming fall trial set to commence in half a month. Taking charge, Jiang Lin enrolls her students, including Lin, for the trial and begins their training. Fast forward to the start of the fall trial, where the college reveals the participating teams and their captains, mad warriors led by Qin Feng, flywheel team headed by Yang Yi, team Qi Qing with Qi Qing as captain, team Shogun Blade captain by Chu Ti, godless team under Zlu Feng's leadership, and finally, team Blade Hunter with Lin as captain. Curiosity arises among the students regarding Lin's team name, reminiscent of a once powerful hunter group. Lin elucidates that his father was the final captain of the Blade Hunters who sacrificed his life for peace, hence the homage in the team name. And thus, the chapter concludes, setting the stage for the upcoming fall trial. As the next chapter unfolds, the godless team and the entire college community are impressed by Lin's firm response to those who opposed his team name. Their admiration turns into cheers, rallying behind Lin. The scene shifts to the tryout location marked by the imposing entrance of the Red Devil Domain. Amidst the excitement, some students seize the opportunity to make a quick profit by selling various items. Lin notices one boy selling photos of Chi Ching and purchases them all, showcasing his respect. Additionally, the captain of the Shogun Blade team tries to make a profit by selling a map of the Red Devil domain. Lin, however, decides to take it without paying, only to be confronted by Chu Ti, who reveals it as a pirated copy. 
As the event begins, everyone enters through separate gates. Lin, equipped with the map, leads his team into the most perilous section of the Red Devil Domain, instilling fear in his companions but assuring them he has a plan. Meanwhile, at headquarters, Lin's sister and other higher-ups monitor the events through cameras. They receive news that one team, Lin's team, has hijacked a car and fled, causing embarrassment among the authorities. Using the car, Lin and his team reach another location, stumbling upon an abandoned village where people are bound with ropes. The chapter concludes with this discovery. In the beginning of the next chapter, Lin investigates the abandoned village upon noticing people tied up there. While patrolling, he enters a shop and intimidates a monster, attempting to rob the store. However, his plans are thwarted when the monster's big brother arrives, striking fear into Lin. Suddenly, the system presents Lin with three options, apologize to the monsters, teach the monster to be human, or find a way to escape. Lin opts for the first option, lured by the promise of eight points of agility as a reward. He returns the stolen items and apologizes, completing his task and earning the reward. Yet, as soon as he finishes, Lin snatches the bag and flees. While running, Lin spots Fatty and his other teammate with bags, realizing they too have stolen from the monsters. In pursuit, the monsters give chase, prompting Lin and his team to utilize the car for their escape. Later, Lin and his team establish a store using the stolen goods, offering significant discounts to attract customers. Their venture proves successful as people flock to purchase from them. Meanwhile, Yang Yi and his team plot to eliminate Lin, enlisting the help of a mysterious man named Xiao Yan, a scout from the Mad Warriors. Xiao Yan offers his assistance, setting the stage for potential conflict and intrigue in future chapters. At the outset of the next chapter, Yang Yi seeks assistance from a mysterious man, offering soul jades and spirit stones in exchange for help. The mysterious man agrees, leading them on a journey. However, it's revealed that the mysterious man is actually Lin himself, intending to mislead them within the domain. As they traverse, they unexpectedly encounter the Mad Warrior's team, putting Lin in a precarious situation since he had falsely presented himself as a member of the Mad Warriors. Yang Yi approaches Qin Feng, the Mad Warrior's captain, to express gratitude for his supposed aid in eliminating Lin. However, Qin Feng is unaware of the situation. Lin discloses his true identity to Yang Yi and his team, inciting their anger. Despite their desire to attack Lin, Qin Feng intervenes, recognizing the unfairness of the situation with Lin outnumbered. The system presents Lin with three options, join Qin Feng to fight against Yang Yi, apologize to Yang Yi, or slip away. Lin opts for the third choice, fleeing and earning eight points of agility. While running, Lin discovers a group of monsters attacking humans, prompting concern for his teammates' safety. Upon finding them, they engage in combat with the monsters, displaying courage and determination. Amidst the battle, a B-rank monster emerges, instilling fear in everyone and setting the stage for heightened tension and uncertainty in the subsequent chapters. At the outset of the next chapter, a B-rank monster emerges, threatening Lin and the other teams. The system presents Lin with three options, escape, beg for mercy, or confront the monster. Surprising everyone, Lin chooses to fight the monster, displaying unexpected bravery. Meanwhile, at headquarters, the higher-ups become aware of the B-rank ghost's appearance, heightening tension and concern. As the battle ensues, Lin struggles against the powerful monster and sustains severe injuries when the monster summons a trident and attacks him. The scene shifts to an underground space within the Red Devil domain, where a female devil eliminates guards and aids a blood knight in breaking free. Back at the battle, Lin utilizes a glare pill obtained from previous tasks to heal his injuries. Empowered, Lin delivers a decisive blow creating a hole in the monster's body. With the assistance of his companions, they defeat the monster, bringing relief and joy to everyone. However, the jubilation is short-lived as a higher-up reveals the escape of the Blood Knight, sparking fear and uncertainty among the group. Thus, the chapter concludes with a mix of triumph and apprehension, setting the stage for further challenges and conflicts in the ongoing struggle within the Red Devil domain. In the beginning of the next chapter, Lin and his team emerge victorious after defeating the monster, with Lin earning a random skillbook as a reward. Upon using it, Lin gains the unexpected skill of Invincible Egg, much to his confusion and disappointment. However, he decides to experiment with it by tossing the egg into Fatty's mouth, who surprisingly enjoys its taste. Encouraged by Fatty's reaction, Lin distributes eggs to everyone, eliciting delight among his companions. Amidst this lighthearted moment, Lin retrieves a soul jade from the monster's body. 
Suddenly, drones arrive, issuing an emergency evacuation order to the students. Meanwhile, the female devil and Blood Knight approach a group of frightened females. Blood Knight assures them of making them beautiful, fulfilling his promise before ruthlessly draining their blood. As the female devil and Blood Knight discuss their plans, Jang Lin and Lin's sister intervene. Jang Lin attacks Blood Knight, while Lin's sister defends against the female devil's assault. Faced with formidable opposition, the female devil and Blood Knight opt to retreat, with Jang Lin deciding to pursue them. Thus, the chapter concludes. At the beginning of the next chapter, as everyone gathers around the gate to evacuate the Red Devil Domain, the sudden appearance of the female devil and Blood Knight instills fear in the crowd. Blood Knight commands everyone to kneel, asserting his dominance. Surprisingly, Blood Knight picks up Lin and realizes that Lin's Chi experimental body is just an ordinary human. Together with the female devil, they enter a blood ball, disappearing from sight. Meanwhile, Jang Lin and Lin's sister arrive at the gate, learning about Lin's encounter with the female devil and Blood Knight. Within the world of blood, Lin defies Blood Knight by using his new skill to toss an egg towards him, provoking anger. However, Hong Yi intervenes, catching Blood Knight off guard. Blood Knight recognizes Hong Yi and questions if they've met before. Hong Yi reveals herself as a former princess whose people were slain by Blood Knight in battle. Enraged, Blood Knight attacks Hong Yi, leading to an intense battle where Hong Yi struggles against Blood Knight's strength. Witnessing her plight, Lin channels all his spiritual power, attaining the power of Qi and transforming his body. With newfound strength, Lin delivers a powerful blow to Blood Knight, rescuing Hong Yi from further harm. Thus, the chapter concludes. In the beginning of the next chapter, Lin fights with all his spiritual power, risking his own life in the process. Despite his efforts, he sustains severe injuries from Blood Knight's relentless attacks. Blood Knight delivers a powerful kick to Lin, but Hong Yi intervenes, urging Lin to stop exerting himself to the point of risking death. Heeding her advice, Lin reverts to his original form. Hong Yi, determined to confront Blood Knight, begins to burn her own soul to gather power, shocking everyone with her self-sacrifice. Despite Blood Knight's attempts to halt her, Hong Yi defeats him with a single strike, securing victory for herself and Lin. However, her victory comes at the cost of her own life, and she begins to fade away into the air. As Hong Yi disappears, she drops her aura, which Lin catches. He vows to bring her back, promising to honor her sacrifice. Meanwhile, the female devil attempts to aid Blood Knight, only to be betrayed as he selfishly uses her to heal his own body. Lin, enraged by Blood Knight's actions, attempts to kill him, but Blood Knight flees the blood ball. Determined to help the female devil, Lin resolves to track down Blood Knight, knowing his whereabouts. As the blood ball erupts in a blast, Lin falls from it, but his sister comes to his aid, ensuring his safety. Thus, the chapter concludes. At the beginning of the next chapter, Lin dedicates himself to training as he continues to seek a way to bring back Hong Yi. Meanwhile, Lin brings the female devil to his house, where she has transformed into a normal being. Lin Chi assigns her the task of making breakfast for Lin, which she accepts gratefully, eager to repay Lin for saving her life. Weasel, relieved that he no longer has to do any work, is also pleased with the new arrangement. After breakfast, Lin summons the female devil to his room and inquires about the possibility of bringing back Hong Yi. The female devil suggests that if Lin can obtain the soul jade of Blood Knight, there might be a chance to revive Hong Yi. With determination, Lin leaves the house and later meets with Fatty, who notices Lin's sadness. Their conversation is interrupted by the appearance of four unfamiliar boys catching Fatty's attention. Unbeknownst to them, these boys are from the underworld and have come to kidnap Lin's family. Meanwhile, back at the house, Weasel instructs the female devil to give him a massage. Suddenly, the underworld monsters reveal their true forms and threaten Lin Chi. Unfazed, Lin Chi surprises them by throwing a teddy bear infused with demonic powers at them. The bear swiftly dispatches two of the monsters while Weasel kicks the third one into submission. As one monster attempts to flee, Weasel prepares to use his new skill to defeat it, prompting him to transform his body, much to the surprise of Lin Chi and the female devil. Thus, the chapter concludes. At the beginning of the next chapter, Weasel astounds everyone by transforming into a human form and effortlessly defeating the remaining monster. Lin Chi beams with happiness at this remarkable display of power. Meanwhile, in the underworld headquarters, Blood Knight converses with the Lord Devil God, who reveals his intention to destroy Kanglin City. He explains that with Lin's father deceased, the city is vulnerable to attack. 
Blood Knight requests permission to lead the troops, which the Devil God grants, declaring that the Spatial Gate will soon open in Kanglin City, signaling the start of war. In another scene, Jang Lin informs Lin and his team of their victory in the Autumn Trials. However, he warns them of the looming danger and proposes high-level demonic training to strengthen their bodies, eliciting sadness from the team. The system offers Lin 70 ability fragments, which he eagerly accepts, resulting in a significant power increase, elevating him to B-rank level much to everyone's surprise. As a reward, the system grants Lin an upgrade package from which he receives an S-grade magical blade. His teammates congratulate him on his newfound strength. However, their celebration is cut short when the gates of Kanglin City open, unleashing monsters, sending fear rippling through the populace. Lin prepares for battle only to be confronted by two ghost soldier captains who reveal that Lin's father perished fighting them. Fueled by anger and determination, Lin stands ready to face his father's adversaries, setting the stage for an intense confrontation. At the beginning of the next chapter, Lin engages in a fierce battle against the two ghost soldier captains. When the system offers him three options, Lin chooses to confront them alone. The fight intensifies as Lin skillfully evades the male captain's attacks, surprising both adversaries with his abilities. In a bold move, Lin incapacitates the male captain with a swift kick to the groin before employing a bomb to halt their pursuit. Utilizing the power of his sword, Lin successfully dispatches both captains, completing the task and gaining 20 points of strength. Meanwhile, back at Lin's house, Lin Shi instructs the female devil and weasel to bury the ghost bones before Lin's return. However, their efforts are disrupted by the sudden appearance of more monsters, provoking their anger. In the city, Elder Tsong and the vice president of Kanglin College joined the fray, contributing to the defeat of several monsters. Jang Lin and her team also emerge victorious in their battles. Lin told Jang Lin that he defeated B rank monster by himself, which made Jang Lin happy. Upon returning home, Lin discovers everyone burning the monster's bones, leaving him perplexed. Lin Shi fills him in on the situation, while Weasel, now transformed into a human, tries to enlist Lin's help, causing further confusion for Lin. As Weasel explains his transformation to Lin, the chapter comes to a close. At the outset of the next chapter, Lin remains puzzled by Weasel's transformation, grappling with the newfound complexity of their dynamic. In the following scene, Blood Knight unleashes bats upon Kanglin City, whose bites turn victims into ghosts. The next day, Fatty updates Lin on the city's plight caused by the bats and seeks Lin's assistance. As Lin prepares to leave the house, Lin Shi instructs the female devil and Weasel to accompany him, eliciting contrasting reactions from the two, happiness from Weasel and disappointment from the female devil. In the city, a gathering of residents bands together to combat the monster threat, including the Shogun Blade team. Suddenly, Fatty alerts everyone to a group of female ghosts approaching. Lin readies himself for battle, but the female ghosts tear at Fatty's clothes, rendering him vulnerable. Despite Chu Ti's attempt to intervene, the female ghosts remain unfazed while a group of male ghosts closes in on Chu Ti. Lin springs into action, extracting the teeth of the female ghost, restoring her to her human form. Recognizing Lin's method, he orders everyone to follow suit, breaking the ghost's teeth to revert them to their original selves, which garners unanimous agreement. Meanwhile, from a distance, Blood Knight observes Lin's actions with disdain, witnessing Lin's efforts to alleviate the suffering caused by the ghosts. His frustration grows as he watches Lin's compassionate approach, setting the stage for further conflict and tension. Thus, the chapter concludes. In the beginning of the next chapter, Blood Knight seeds with anger over Lin's thwarting of his plan and dispatches Deputy Chief Nightmare to eliminate Lin and his team. While Lin and his team revel in their recent victory, they are lured by the voice of a girl crying for help. Chu Ti and Fatty rush towards the source of the voice, only to find themselves ensnared in a trap. For girls, seemingly tied up with ropes, turn out to be ghosts, leading to Deputy Chief Nightmare ensnaring everyone in his dream world. In the dream world, each member of Lin's team experiences their deepest desires. Fatty indulges in a feast with beautiful ladies. Chu Ti's team becomes the most prominent hunter team. M.O. Xiao imagines himself married to Qi Qing, and others are similarly entranced by their fantasies. Lin's dream transports him to a reunion with Hong Yi, filling him with overwhelming joy. Embracing her, he is overcome with emotion, tears streaming down his face. However, when the system presents him with three options to remain in the dream world forever, reject Red Leaf, or destroy the dream world, Lin reluctantly chooses the third option, shattering the illusion. 
Deputy Chief Nightmare, enraged by Lin's defiance, prepares to retaliate. At the beginning of the next chapter, Deputy Chief Nightmare seeds with anger after everyone's dreams shatter, returning them to the real world. He attempts to attack Lin, but Lin easily overpowers him. Upon realizing his defeat, Deputy Chief Nightmare tries to flee, only to encounter a car driven by Weasel, Lin Shi, and the female devil who had decided to venture into the city. As the car careens out of control, Weasel inadvertently collides with Deputy Chief Nightmare, preventing his escape. Lin orders everyone to rid the city of remaining monsters. Meanwhile, Blood Knight observes the confrontation, intending to witness Deputy Chief Nightmare's victory over Lin. However, he is shocked to see Deputy Chief Nightmare lying defeated on the road, prompting him to personally intervene. In a subsequent scene, Weasel's erratic driving nearly causes another collision with Lin and his team, but Lin intervenes just in time to save them. As the car hurdles toward a wall, the female devil assists Lin Shi and Weasel in escaping the vehicle. Lin questions Lin Shi about their presence, but she shifts blame onto Weasel. Suddenly, Blood Knight launches a full-scale invasion of the city with his army of monsters. Jang Lin and Lin's sister embark on a mission to confront Blood Knight, but their plans are disrupted when Blood Knight summons the Blood Dragon. Setting the stage for a climactic confrontation and raising the stakes for Lin and his allies in the ongoing battle against the forces of darkness. At the beginning of the next chapter, Blood Knight summons a formidable dragon to confront Jang Lin and Lin's sister, setting the stage for a fierce battle. As the battle ensues, it becomes apparent that Blood Knight possesses overwhelming power and the intensity of the confrontation escalates. Meanwhile, Lin, his family, and their teammates endeavor to find a way out of the besieged city to combat the remaining monsters. Lin grants permission to Lin Shi, the female devil, and Weasel to accompany him. Suddenly, they encounter a group of monsters, prompting Lin Shi to feign fear while instructing Weasel and the female devil to remain silent. With the ruse in place, everyone engages in combat against the monsters. Utilizing his newfound powers, Lin emerges as a formidable force on the battlefield, surprising everyone with his strength. When the system offers him the opportunity to extract the power of two soul jade, Lin accepts, further enhancing his abilities. As the onslaught of monsters converges upon them, preparations to flee are made. However, Lin refuses to retreat and instead delivers a decisive blow, eliminating all the monsters with a single strike, concluding the chapter with a display of Lin's formidable prowess and determination to protect his comrades and the city. In the beginning of the next chapter, the intense battle rages on between Jiang Lin, Lin's sister, and Blood Knight. Working together, Jiang Lin and Lin's sister deliver powerful blows to Blood Knight, enraging him to the point of transforming his body for a more formidable assault. As Blood Knight launches a vicious attack, seemingly overpowering Jang Lin and his sister, Lin arrives on the scene to intervene and assist them. Determined to confront Blood Knight head-on, Lin opts to fight against him, prompting the system to offer him three options, hide from Blood Knight, kill him, or ask for mercy. Lin chooses the second option and undergoes a transformation, surprising everyone with his newfound powers. With the support of his teammates, including Lin Shi, the female devil, and Weasel, Lin engages in a fierce battle against Blood Knight. Together, they relentlessly attack, gradually gaining the upper hand. As the fight reaches its climax, Lin delivers the final blow, ultimately defeating Blood Knight and claiming his soul jade. The victory brings relief and joy to everyone, particularly Lin, who is now one step closer to fulfilling his goal of bringing Hong Yi back. With Blood Knight vanquished, the chapter concludes. In the beginning of the next chapter, Lin focuses on bringing Hong Yi back to the real world, successfully accomplishing his goal and expressing his joy by kissing her. However, in the underworld headquarters, Toward Devil God receives news of his army's defeat in Kanglin City, sparking his anger. Despite suggestions to send more troops, he opts to wait, confident in his victories in other cities. Meanwhile, Lin Shi enters Lin's room and encounters Hong Yi for the first time, prompting her to inquire about the mysterious lady. After an explanation from everyone, Lin Shi remains confused and leaves the room, feeling shy in Hong Ye's presence. As Hong Yi begins to feel fatigued, the female devil identifies that her soul is damaged. Lin takes Hong Yi back to his spiritual world, where the female devil reveals a method to restore her body using a sage stone. However, the stone is shattered with its pieces scattered and in possession of powerful monsters. Undeterred, Lin resolves to retrieve the sage stone fragments at any cost, determined to restore Hong Ye's body. With this resolve, the chapter concludes.
In the beginning of the next chapter, a conference is held at Kanglin College where the vice president announces the victory of Kanglin City over the monsters. However, the success is overshadowed by losses in other cities, prompting the decision to send Lin and his team to aid in defeating the monsters elsewhere. This news elicits joy from everyone present. Back at home, Lin Shi shares Lin's exam results, revealing his eligibility to join Kanglin Junior College, much to Lin's delight. Following this, Lin departs for another city with his team, arriving at Blackwood Town. The town has fallen under the control of Void Ghost, a powerful adversary who has defeated the hunters and kidnapped girls from the town. Determined to help the survivors, Lin vows to take action. However, their resolve is tested when Void Ghost's lackeys arrive, searching for more girls to abduct. In a surprising turn of events, Su Tang and her teammate confront the lackeys, fighting back fiercely. Lin prepares to intervene, but the system offers him three options, directly attack Void Ghost, enter Void Ghost's headquarters disguised as women, or abandon Blackwood Town. Lin opts for the second option, despite the reluctance of his teammates. Disguised as women, they enter the headquarters and encounter a ghost outside, whom they deceive and restrain. Upon revealing their true identities, they catch the ghost off guard, setting the stage for their confrontation with Void Ghost. Thus, the chapter concludes with anticipation for the next stage of their mission and the impending showdown with Void Ghost. The chapter takes a sharp turn into the realm of the supernatural. Lin and his friends confront Void Ghost, a previously unseen entity. The reveal of their true identities leaves Void Ghost terrified. He attempts a desperate attack but is easily subdued by Lin and his team. A cornered Void Ghost tries to escape, but Lin and his friends give chase. The narrative takes another unexpected turn as the system intervenes. Lin is presented with three chilling options, let Void Ghost go, eliminate him permanently, or extract information from him. Opting for the pragmatic approach, Lin chooses to interrogate Void Ghost. Under duress, Void Ghost reveals a crucial detail, a fragment of the Sage Stone is in the possession of his boss, Red Sword. Having gleaned this valuable information, Lin makes a ruthless decision, he chooses to kill Void Ghost. This act grants him 10 points of psychic power, further enhancing his abilities. We then witness Lin and his team emerging as protectors of the city, successfully clearing it of monsters and ghostly threats. Their mission accomplished, the group embarks on a journey to Lingfeng City. Along the way, they encounter a new dilemma, two hunter ghosts are stalking a fox. The ever-present system presents Lin with another set of choices, save the fox, remain uninvolved, or persuade the ghosts to spare it. Feeling indecisive, Lin receives unexpected guidance from Hong Yi. She reveals that the fox possesses magical powers similar to the weasel, making its survival critical. With newfound purpose, Lin eliminates the hunter ghosts, rescuing the fox in the process. This act grants him eight points of psychic energy, further solidifying his power. As the group settles down for a well-deserved rest, Su Tang raises a valid concern. Hunter ghosts typically operate in packs. Having taken out two, they might face retaliation. Heeding this warning, Lin and Fatty take turns guarding the camp. Unfortunately, Fatty's vigilance pays off. He spots a group of hunter ghosts approaching. The situation escalates further with the arrival of a particularly powerful entity, a B-rank hunter ghost. The chapter concludes with this ominous development. The chapter throws Lin and his team into a fierce battle against a B-rank hunter ghost. Despite the formidable opponent, Lin proves his mettle. Utilizing his recently acquired skills, he manages to extract the ghost's powers and use them as a weapon. This unexpected tactic throws the hunter ghost off balance, allowing Lin to secure a swift victory. Not only does he defeat the leader, but he also claims his soul jade, a tangible manifestation of the ghost's power. The rest of Lin's team follows suit, efficiently dispatching the remaining hunter ghosts. In the aftermath of the battle, Fatty expresses a suspicion there's likely a larger tribe of these creatures nearby. This hunch is confirmed by the rescued fox who leads them to the tribe's location. Fueled by a sense of justice, Lin and his team launch a decisive attack on the hunter ghost tribe. Their combined strength proves unstoppable as they liberate the humans who were being held captive by the ghosts. One of the freed hostages reveals a critical piece of information. They hail from Lingfeng City, which has fallen under the control of the malevolent Red Sword Ghost. With a clear purpose now driving them, Lin directs the rescued hostages to a safe haven, Kanglin City. His sights are set on Lingfeng City, the location of the Sage Stone Fragment and Red Sword Ghost. However, Hongyi appears, offering a word of caution. 
She warns Lin about Red Sword Ghost's formidable power, urging him to exercise prudence. Following a perilous journey, Lin and his team arrive at the gates of Lingfeng City. Their attempt to enter is met with hostility as a local hunter group mistakes them for ghosts and launches an attack. Lin, showcasing his vastly enhanced abilities, effortlessly counters their leader, a young woman named Konia. The display of power leaves Konia speechless. The chapter reaches a cliffhanger as another familiar face enters the scene, Lin's college friend, Win Feng. His bewildered question, how did you and Konia get into a fight? And that's how the chapter ends. The chapter opens with a much-needed clarification. When Feng explains that Konia isn't a foe, but a fellow hunter dedicated to protecting Ling Feng City. With misunderstandings cleared, the focus shifts to Red Sword Ghost's tactics. Konia reveals his sinister method of fueling his power by absorbing negative human emotions. To achieve this, he tortures innocent people, plunging them into despair. The location of his operations is a flying ship powered by the emotional output generated by these control towers scattered throughout the city. Determined to liberate the city, Lin pledges his support to Konia and her group. A strategic plan is devised, infiltrate the control rooms and deactivate the towers, severing the flow of negative energy to Red Sword Ghost's ship. The team splits into three units, each tasked with a specific control room. Lin and Konia enter the city witnessing firsthand the horrifying methods employed by the ghosts to torment the populace. Their revulsion fuels their resolve as they reach their designated control room. The other teams share a similar experience, their initial shock transforming into unwavering determination to stop the suffering. Inside the control room, Lin faces off against a monstrous entity guarding the system. He emerges victorious and the ever-present system presents him with three choices, destroy the tower, relinquish control, or take command. Konia, recognizing the potential strategic advantage, steps in and begins the process of deactivating the tower. Meanwhile, within the flying ship, Red Sword Ghost receives the unwelcome news of the disrupted operation. Infuriated, he dispatches two ghosts to eliminate Lin and his team. Back in the control room, Konia successfully deactivates the tower, marking a significant victory for Lin and his allies. As a reward, Lin receives the happy water of life. This accomplishment has a profound impact on the city. The oppressed citizens are freed from the grip of despair, their spirits lifted. Empowered and no longer burdened by negativity, they turn the tables on the remaining monsters, fighting back with renewed vigor. The chapter concludes with a scene brimming with tension. The two ghosts sent by Red Sword Ghost land only to be met by the defiant faces of Lin and Konia. Fear contorts their expressions as they realize the formidable opponents they face. The stage is set for a climactic confrontation in the next chapter. The chapter opens with a comedic twist. The two formidable-looking monsters sent by Red Sword Ghost are met with unexpected laughter from Lin and Konia. This audacity enrages the monsters, prompting them to merge into a single, hulking entity. The gravity of the situation escalates with Hong Ye's timely warning, urging Lin to exercise caution. As if on cue, the ever-present system chimes in, offering a solution, the happy water of life Lin received as a reward. Lin, recognizing the potential advantage, distributes the water, sharing it with Konia and even the fox. The effects are immediate, a surge of power courses through their bodies. The battle commences with Konia taking the initiative, unleashing a powerful ice attack that temporarily freezes the monstrous entity. Lin charges forward, attempting to exploit this opening with his sword. However, his initial strike proves ineffective against the creature's formidable defenses. Lin narrowly avoids a crushing blow from the monster. But the tide begins to turn when the fox, utilizing its newfound psychic abilities, disrupts the monster's balance. This momentary lapse allows Lin, with Konia's support, to land a decisive blow with his sword, vanquishing the fused monstrosity. Victory is sweet. Lin claims two soul jades as his reward, but he demonstrates his newfound generosity by gifting one to Konia in recognition of her role in the battle. Even the clever fox is rewarded with a share of the happy water of life. The group, now revitalized and strengthened, basks in the afterglow of their success. The chapter dives headfirst into a thrilling confrontation. Red Sword Ghost receives the devastating news. The monsters he dispatched to eliminate Lin have met their demise. But before he can formulate a new strategy, Lin and his team land a surprise attack, storming the flying ship. A fierce battle erupts as Lin and his allies cut a swathe through the rank and file ghosts. Red Sword Ghost, enraged by this audacious intrusion, threatens Lin and his team. 
However, Hong Yi appears, offering a crucial piece of information. The fragment of the Sage Stone is not hidden within the ship, but embedded within Red Sword Ghost's own sword. Empowered by this revelation, Lin boldly challenges Red Sword Ghost to a duel. The clash is intense, with Red Sword Ghost showcasing his formidable powers. Lin, initially struggling to keep pace, receives a timely suggestion from the ever-present system, harness the combined might of the soul jades he has collected. Heeding this advice, Lin absorbs the power from the soul jades. This surge of energy transforms him, allowing him to dodge Red Sword Ghost's attacks with newfound agility. He seizes the opportunity to launch a powerful counteroffensive, shattering Red Sword Ghost's sword. In the process, the fragment of the Sage Stone within Red Sword Ghost's sword is dislodged. Lin retrieves the fragment and entrusts it to Hong Yi. As she absorbs the stone's energy, a transformation begins. Her soul is restored to its normal state. The chapter reaches a cliffhanger on this triumphant note, but a new thread emerges. A mysterious gate opens, revealing Red Sword Ghost himself. Lin and his allies must now prepare to face the villain in his true form, setting the stage for an epic showdown in the upcoming chapter.